All right, in this video, I'm going to attempt to show off network printing. This happens to be home server 2011 that I'm looking at here. And um, this uh, virtual machine, in my case, is intended to be left 20, running 24-7. So it seems like a good spot to run a print server. So let's just start with what's attached. Right now, we have a locally attached USB printer. Let me go ahead and add a typical network printer that is not a AirPrint compatible printer on Apple's list. So in my house you'll see I have some printers. Let me pick the one that's close by. It found it by IP address. And installing is rather simple. Um, to start I'm just going to say I don't want to share it. I just want it available locally. Print a test page. It should make some noise here over my shoulder. And there it goes. I hear it. All right, so that was easy. We've configured a network printer. The thing is, it's not on the AirPrint uh, list of compatible printers. So um, $10 piece of software seems to solve that. Uh, I tried this earlier in a different machine. Uh, free trial for Windows or Mac, and $10 to purchase. And I went ahead and downloaded this um, setup utility. Um, let me just show you around here. There's the price. There's the price for Mac. Okay, on the desktop, I don't download directly. I downloaded to Network Share and then I accessed the uh, executable and dragged it to this local file system on this virtual machine. All right, here's the fingerprint setup utility. It seems to run with iOS 5. That was key for me. Nothing else uh, seemed to work with iOS 5 for print sharing with iOS devices. So not only will I be able to print from computers, but jumping ahead, I also like to be able to print from an iPad or iPhone. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do here. So the setup is rather straightforward. It puts this in the Start Menu folder. So it's not a service, which would be nice. So it means I kind of need to auto-log on. I have to have this, if I reboot this Windows Home Server, I need to make sure it's logged on. Um, sure, I'll create a desktop icon. All right, it's done. No need to reboot because all it does is launch it. Um, again, because it's not a service. We might be able to play around with getting it to run as a service with some tweaks, but you can see basically just made an icon in the startup folder. I don't like it in my face when I reboot, so I right-click, change properties, and say run it minimize. All right, so there it is. Uh, it's simply pointing to all printers on my system and allowing them to be accessed from my iOS devices. So I'm looking at a, uh, a new egg e new egg email on my uh, phone. Let me click print. And select printer. And what do you know? I'm offered the same exact list of four printers as you're seeing, including one that's called Open on My PC. Um, right here. Let me try printing uh, first to the physical printer. Make sure it prints out a test page behind me. Uh, it's asking me single or double-sided and how many copies. I'm just going to click print at the defaults. And I see it's print sending three pages to my printer right now. Let me go grab the test page. And uh, the test page worked fine. So this is not a shared printer. This is just a printer that's installed on the local system here. Now this uh, USB attached printer right here. I'm also going to print um, something very small to that 4x6 photo printer. Okay, I'll check on that in a moment. And then finally something so you can actually see it. Uh, let's print to a computer and see how that function works. So I've chosen this open on my PC print option. So with any luck, I guess we're going to see a PDF open. Um, and I got an error. An error occurred printing this. And there you go, because Adobe Acrobat is not installed in this machine. So uh, I got to think of a document that would work. So I guess it's basically just complaining. Um, without Adobe Acrobat installed, you're not going to get to pop up on this machine. How important is that feature to to run on the desktop of a Windows Home server to pop up a PDF of something that I'm trying to 
send to it on the phone. It's not particular the reason I installed this. So I don't really care to worry about open on my PC feature right now. Um, much better is just the fact that this is running 24-7. And um, if we type this, we I'm thinking here, auto login is probably not a great idea on this server. Um, in fact, it doesn't look like, uh, unlike the client operating systems, it might not let us do that. So anyhow, I don't quite have a, a handle on how to make this run as a service or always all the time. Um, for now, I just have to make sure I log into my home server after any reboots to make sure this product's still running. And I did test it uh, earlier where as soon as you go to shut down, or excuse me, if you log off like this, that product is gone from memory. It's not running as a service. And now on my phone, when I go to try to print something, I do not get any printers found. So very simple product and um, seems to work fine. And uh, hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.